Peace all the inner lights out there. It's your brother Junius, aka Sash and Blue. You're now tuned to Signs and Numbers. Make sure to subscribe, like the page, and definitely share with others. So, boy, y'all doing your best out there and being your best out there, definitely. So, today we're going to continue the series and we're going to talk about Aquarius born on the 24th. Yeah, the 24th. I just did the 23rd. Aquarius born on the 24th of January. So, I got to say for you guys, Definitely pay attention this year. It benefits you guys in one aspect because you got to remember that you're born in January versus February. So because you're born in that January thing, energy, you kind of have that Capricorn energy within you still lingering. And we are in the year 2024. That 2024 vibration breaks down to an eight when you add that up, those numbers. And that eight is associated with the planet Saturn, which governs Capricorn. So we're right now for 2024, we're in the year of Capricorn. And because you're Aquarius born in January, you kind of reap some of this benefit, some of the benefits of this particular vibration. So there's just something to keep in mind. So, you know, definitely take advantage where you can. And as somebody born on the 24th of January, one thing I'll definitely recommend for 2024 is to embrace change to the best of your abilities. You see what I'm saying? Embrace it. Expect something to happen where don't be um, skeptical about it and kind of just embrace the change because it's going to benefit you. And travel if it's possible. If you can't like actually travel and take flight, you know, on a plane, whatever, try to go somewhere outdoors, do something where it's like a different scene, a different change of environment. This is definitely going to like amp you up and like kind of change your perspective and put you in a better light. So there's just something to be mindful of as somebody who's born on the 24th as an Aquarius. Um, keep in mind, and also too, um, be dynamic too. You're gonna realize for 2024, you're gonna be more charismatic. You're already a person that is good with the verb, but you'll realize you're gonna be a lot more charismatic. So with you being born on the 24th as an Aquarius, one thing that you should always utilize and know that's very positive in your vibration is your verb. The way, the way you communicate with other people, you have a particular charm about you that can really persuade a certain audience or individual. And this is something that you should always take advantage of. It's rather unique, you know, compared to your friends. Anybody out there, they'll probably tell you that. They'll probably appreciate your voice or you have a nice voice. So that's just something to utilize to the best of your advantage. As somebody born on the 24th as an Aquarius, you know, sometimes Aquarius could get a bad rep for being a bit lazy and stuff like that, or like letting, be a little lack, lackadaisical, like where they don't really care about certain things and they're nonchalant. But that's not gonna be the case for you. And one aspect you gotta realize you're born in January. And January energy, that Capricorn energy, Capricorns work really hard, but also because you're born on the 24th, you know, you know how to have, build that steadfast energy and not slack. You see what I'm saying? And when you actually in that momentum, you know, this is when you kind of come alive and you become one of the most dependent, one of the most dependable people that people rely on when you're in that zone. So you have that steadfast energy within you. But, you know, there are moments, though, if you're not careful, you could be very lazy as well if you're not motivated and you're not goal-driven. But luckily, because you are born January and Capricorns tend to be very goal-driven and motivated, this will kind of amp that energy for you to kind of push forth. So this one to be mindful of. And then when that happens, your visions are going to start kicking in because Aquarius are visionaries and they have like a tunnel vision. So once they're really focusing on something, boom, they're going to nail it, you know, especially when they really want it. So once that steadfast energy kicks in, you work hard and you're pushing and pushing and pushing, boom, everything's going to manifest to the best of its abilities for you as long as you make it happen. Um, you're a person that can work well with people. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, when you work well with people, this really compliments you at its best because when you're working with somebody, your people depend on you and you kind of like, when people depend on you, it kind of motivates you more. You see what I'm saying? So, because you're still a bit methodical on how you move and you're not gonna move so quickly like that. You're like gonna build things step by step with a certain consistency and build and build and build. and in a way you like to build with people. It's not to say that you wanna just do it all your own, even though, you know, sometimes Aquarius could be removed and stuff like that. 
but it's not really going to be the case with you because when you're born in January and you have that 24 vibration, which is a six vibration, so it shows that you're or family oriented so you really do care for the people that's around you and would like to help the best way you can you are naturally a lover you know by default you know either you like to touch or people or you like to be touched but you like the comfort of other people being around you um if you have a person you're pretty much going to be with that person for a long time but you got to avoid the confusion aspect within that choice with the lover because you probably could have a person here and there or a couple partners and you have like the confusion or they may throw confusion your way where you're like, hmm, I don't know, you know. So you, unfortunately, you kind of one of those people. I said that in some certain videos and other videos too because some of them have that quality. But you specifically definitely if you've been born as an Aquarius in the, on the 24 vibration, there's definitely that aspect where you're going to have to do your best. I mean, you're going to go through certain experiences, but once you go through those experiences over time, you're going to know that truth and know who's there for it and who's the one. And But because you're an Aquarius, I notice when it comes to Aquarius and relationships, they're pretty solid at picking like that life partner and they have like that keen sense like, yeah, this is the one and everybody else is like, all right, playmates and stuff like that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So... I just something to be mindful of. Love. Um, be careful. Although you could be, um, although you know, sometimes Aquarius could be more lax and stuff like that. When people, do, when someone does something to you, you could get emotional about it and even come off as vindictive. So you gotta be careful for that vindictive nature. Sometimes some people ask for it too. You know, they'll probably do something foul to you, and you know you're gonna realize if somebody does something foul to you, the karma is gonna come their way rather quickly. You know what I'm saying? Do your best to not really like be vindictive towards them and let the universe do what it does. You feel what I'm saying? Um, you're gonna realize through your hard work, um, the right opportunity is gonna come your way and it's almost gonna feel like luck, but it's not luck, it's just hard work. You know, just coming at the right time based on all everything you've applied and through that, you'll be like, oh snap. Like you'll probably think um, in one aspect, like you'll do this and you're gonna get this and then this is gonna happen like oh whoa, i didn't expect that and then it's gonna be something even greater you see what i'm saying in one aspect but in other aspects too when you force it too much and you're working you're working you're working so or something then you're gonna kind of you will want to feel restless like oh man i did all this and then nothing happened so that's another thing that could happen and you got to realize because you're an aquarius and aquarius you know dealing with the planet uranus usually that sign is like a that planet is like a planet of the unexpected and definitely when it comes to Aquarius, the unexpected is going to happen in your life, especially being more than 24 in the confusion aspect. And also you, you harness some of this Capricorn energy and some some Capricorns um, kind of are suffering or in duality when it comes to their family and you love family. So there's gonna be some type of unexpectancy that could bring pain in your life, you know what I'm saying? And that's just something that kind of in a way comes with the territory, but it's just something to just be mindful of. Um, as somebody born on the 24th of January as an Aquarius, know that you're naturally compatible with other um, air signs like yourself, which are Libras and Geminis, and you're also compatible with fire signs, which are Sagittarius, Leos, and Aries. But you may realize you're more compatible with like, the Sagittarius, the Aries, the Leos that are born kind of on like a cusp, maybe like with something like that. Scorpio cuss, you know what I'm saying, the, or like the Cancer cuss, or you know, like when I wore that Pisces energy kind of cuss, you know what I'm saying, because you kind of, when you're born on the, in that January vibration, the Capricorn energy, they're sharing, but also that duality you being more than 24 energy as well. So there's something that's just be mindful of. But you also realize that you're also going to have a strong gravitational pull towards like Taurus energy. You may realize like Taurus people are attracted to your energy very strongly as earth signs or even Libras. You know, Libras may have a strong pull or vice versa where you're gonna have attraction toward them. And don't be surprised too if Cancers or Capricorns are really attracted to your energy and vice versa. So it's just something to be mindful of. Um, you're also gonna realize too, uh, the number of combinations that go really well with your vibration are gonna be those that have the three vibration, the six vibration, 
in the nine vibration. And it's going to kind of be unavoidable in your life. And I say this in all my videos. And I'm going to make sure I keep saying it till the end of the series 365 because I really want this to resonate because it was something that was profound to me when I started realizing it because I'm born to 16 and that's like a seven vibration. And all throughout my life, no matter what, I'm always bumping to one, four, sevens. So I started noticing that pattern of other people in their lifetime. Um, that this is something that's very common and I started realizing the reason behind this is because this kind of how the universe constructs it so we could have as much harmony as possible and little to no friction you see what I'm saying so what do I mean by that I kind of mean well, well pretty much what I mean by that like you bump into somebody that might be born like the third of the month the 30th of the month you know the 21st of the month the 12th of the month those are like your three vibrations you born the 24th as a sixth vibration, so you're gonna click well. So you're gonna click well with people that might be born on the sixth of the month, you know, 15th of the month, or the 24th, like yourself, and the ninth vibrations are the ninth, the 18th, or 27th. You see what I'm saying? And this is something that I don't want to say, oh, well, I want you to have just more awareness of it. Maybe it might take you by surprise right now, but then. When you see it for what it is, it's gonna make more sense, you know what I'm saying? And this is the 369 vibration, this is within the spiritual plane. So anytime you converse with these particular individual, um, you'll realize even though sometimes certain aspects can be tough, but you'll realize there's like a flow to it, you know, and there's more a lot of harmony. It's not gonna be like conversation that's so materialistic. There's gonna be like deeper or, or a deeper conversation where it's going to be more coming from that spiritual realm, more God, more love, more harm, you know what I'm saying? Not always about the money. Although, as somebody born on the 24th of January, you are about abundance and accumulation and making sure you're very comfortable and you love to be like in um, a comfortable environment. You know, you're very loving and you want your house to be, have like the stuff that's adequate for your living situation. But overall, you're going to see that Sometimes with these vibrations, it's bigger than that. Um, with that being said, too, on a spiritual level, you may see that you click well. Um, don't be surprised. I don't know if you ever encountered somebody, but somebody that might be born the 20th of the month, that's a very powerful combination with you. And also as well, too, this could sometimes be rare, but it's a very strong combination with you. Somebody born on the 16th of the month is a very powerful combination with you. Or, or even if you found somebody, somebody that might be born on the 13th of the month. This combination could be very powerful and profound. Sometimes very rare, but if you know it's like the 20th of the month, the 16th of the month, or 13th of the month, this could be a very interesting combo with you. So just something to just be mindful of you being born on January 24th. <laughs> I'll keep it there for now. Um, if you want to learn more, definitely hit me up at Sag and Blue. That's S-A-G-I-N-B-L-U-E. That's Sag and Blue. Definitely. All right. All right, brothers and sisters, all my inner lights out there. Have a great one. Do your best out there. Be your best out there. And remember, guys, always let your inner light shine. Junus.